Earlier today, a shroud of fog covered north central Florida, but the sunshine changed that by late this morning. Now, meteorologist Justin Ballard from the UF Weather Center and earlier this morning, you can actually make out the last vestiges of the fog here from early on, but really early this morning around sunrise, you couldn't even make out Ben Hill Griffin Stadium. That's how foggy it was. And through Wednesday, I think we'll have more of these foggy mornings, so get used to that here. And by tomorrow morning, we may be looking at some patchy, dense fog yet again. Here we are, 2 a.m., Gainesville, Ocala, Crystal River, Cedar Key, Cross City, Live Oak, Lake City, High Springs, all of these areas seeing fog. And that fog will develop and last through much of the morning hours, dissipating during the mid to late morning hours. So, very similar to today, give yourself extra time for that morning commute if you do have to go to work tomorrow, and make sure you've got the low beams on. I don't expect fog to develop until after midnight for most of us here. You see those icons here at 2 and 4 a.m. Temperatures by the midnight hour in the upper 50s falling to where that dew point is, mid to upper 50s by 4 a.m. And later this week, warm and dry weather sticks around. In fact, the next chance for rain really doesn't come in until Sunday with an approaching cold front. So temperatures will be well above average, upper 70s to near 80. You see the normal temperatures here, 44 and 68 respectively for those lows and highs. And as we kick in 2022, it looks like we'll be doing so in shorts and short sleeves.